Hi guys, welcome to our channel, Let's Decode. Recently Mr. Beast, Anonymous Beast, mailed us like this. To understand what he conveyed us, we have to decode this in MATLAB. With our knowledge we understand that it is a Morse code. Before decoding this in MATLAB, let's know what is Morse code. Morse code is a method used in telecommunication to encode text characters as standardized sequences of two different signal durations, called dots and dashes or dits and dots. To increase the efficiency of encoding, Morse code was designed so that the length of each symbol is approximately inverse to the frequency of occurrence of the character that it represents in text of English language. Thus the most common letter in English, the letter E, has the shortest code. A single dot. There is no distinction between upper and lower case letters. Each Morse code symbol is formed by a sequence of dots and dashes. Let's get into MATLAB. Create a struct to save the Morse code of every alphabet. We store the code with the key as the alphabet itself. For numbers we add n before them, as a number cannot be a key. Now we save the struct in data.mat file, so that we can load it, instead of writing the codes every time. Now run the script. Open Morse to see the data in it. We have the Morse code of every alphabet and numbers. We can get the value in any key by dot indexing. Now, create a new file to encode. Load the data file. Give input text as a alphabet. Display the variable in command window. As we don't have upper and lower case in Morse code, convert all the text to lower case only. Now we get the respective Morse code using get field function. Get field functions helps to get the value of the given key in the struct. Then we display the Morse code in command window. Now run the script. We get the Morse code for the given letter. It is same as the Morse code in the data file. Clear the command window every time. Change the input text and run it again. Now, give number 1. Oops, we got an error. Maybe this is because of the field name. We give the field names of number with letter n preceding every number. So, this calling is not valid for numbers. Now change the code like this. Let's see what this do. As var name function helps to check whether the input given is a valid variable or not. Otherwise we can say it gives 1 when the input is alphabet like this. Here for input A, we get the result logical 1. Similarly, for letter Q, it return logical 1. Whereas for number 1, it gives logical 0. So, we use this function to check whether the input is an alphabet or number. Now, coming to this line. This format helps to combine the number with N to check the field names. Now run the script. Yup, we got the same code. What about other inputs like space, dot, comma? This code doesn't work for them, as the characters are not present in the data file. Let's add them. Now run the script to update the data file. We add the special characters and also their respective Morse codes. Now change the conditions. If the text is an empty space, then its Morse code is simply a forward slash. To check whether the character is a number we use str2num function. If the text is a number, then we add its respective Morse code. If the text is one of the special characters, then we add its respective Morse code. Clear the workspace and command window. Now give the input's text as single space. We get a forward slash as the output. For letter H, we get its respective Morse code. For dot also we get its respective code. Similarly check for numbers 9 and 0. Yup, we got it. But, we get an error for 90. Because, we are checking for single character only. Let's see how to get Morse code of multiple character array. Create a variable to store the length of the text. Create an empty vector to store Morse code. Now we run the loop for every character in the text. Instead of text here, we take ith element in text array. Then we add the update the code. 
we append the Morse code of ith character at the end of the code. Similarly, we change the remaining conditions also. After appending the Morse code, we add single space so that we divide the Morse code of every letter. Now run the script. Yup we got it. We can check them with the list available. Check for other words. We can observe that words are divided with a forward slash and letters are divided with a single space. Also add a special character. Yup we got it. It's working fine. Let's see how to decode it. Consider a Morse code like this. Create an empty decode text. Add space at the end of the code. It helps to separate the words. Now run the loop to check for all alphabets. First get the Morse code of each letter. Then compare it with the input Morse code. If they are same, add the letter to decode text variable. Print a variable in the command window. Comment this line, we will look at it later. Now run the script. This code represents the letter K. We can check it here. Change the code and check for other codes also. Yup we got it. If we code of two letters separated by space, it will show nothing. Because, we have to differentiate the code of each letter. So, uncomment this line. Now create a new variable to store a single letter code. We have two letter codes here separated by space. We add each character to L code until we get a space then we check its corresponding letter. Run the loop for the length of characters. If we get a space or forward slash, then we check for its corresponding letter. Otherwise, we keep on adding the characters to the L code. After checking for each letter, we again empty the L code. Sorry, it's L code here. We got the letter for only one part of the code as this code is invalid. Check it with some other code. Yup, we got it. Now add a forward slash also. It's working fine. This only work for alphabets. Now add the conditions to check the numbers and special characters also. Now run the script. Yup, it's working fine. Instead of giving the code here, we decode the previously encoded text here. Change this input text to let's decode. Now run the script. We can observe that, first we coded the text into Morse code, then again we decoded the Morse code to text. Both inputs text and decoded text is same. But we miss the space here. So add the condition to put single space whenever a forward slash is detected. Run the script again. Now it's working fine. Put some uppercase letters in the input. Though the input is uppercase, output is lowercase only. Let's see how to generate the sounds for this dot and dash. Create a time vector t from 0 to 1000. Generate a sine wave with the variable t. Now create an audio player with sampling frequency 11k hertz. Play the sound. We get some sound. Now increase the time period more to hear it for some more time. Yup we got it. With this sine wave of different lengths we generate the sounds for dot and dash. Let's see how to give a pause. We simply put some zeros in between these sine wave to get pause. Increase it more to get long pause. That's cool. Now create the variable dot with 700 time samples dash with 2000 time samples, and a short space of length 2000 time samples and long space with 4000 time samples. Short space it for each code character, and long space is for each text character. Both will come for a word spacing. Now create sound signal with random codes. Now run the script. Oops, MATLAB didn't support zero indexing, change it to one. Yup we got it. 
Now write the conditions to generate sound for given Morse code. Create a blank sound signal. Create a Morse code for any character. Run the loop for every character. If the character is a dot, then we add the dot signal and a short pause to the sound signal. If the character is dash, then we add dash signal and a short pause at the end of signal. If we got a space, then we add long space. If the character is forward slash, then we add both long and short space to the signal. Now run the script. Did you hear that? Let's run it again. Yup, we got it. Now we create the sound signal for the above given text. Now run the script to hear how let's decode sounds. That's cool. Change the text. Yup, it's working fine. Let's see how to code a GUI. We will create a GUI like this. With input and output edit texts. We have this encode and decode buttons to convert from text to Morse code, and vice versa. Play and save buttons help to play the sound, and save the sound signal respectively. This reset button is to clear the fields. Let's see the code behind it. Initially we turn off the play and save buttons, as they cannot be used until we generate the Morse code. If we run the GUI, we get like this. When we press encode push button, we make the buttons visible. Get the text in the input message box. Then we load the data file. Remaining process is same as we did. After converting to Morse code we display the code in output message box. When we press the decode push button, make the play and save buttons visible. Then we get the Morse code in the input box, and the remaining process continues. Finally, we display the text in output box. This play is same as we did earlier. While saving the sound file, first we get the directory from the user, then we save the file with name Morse sound. Let's run the GUI. Give it input text. Now change it to Morse code. Play the sound. Now give random Morse code as input. Decode the Morse code. Yup, it's working fine. Now give the code that Mr. Beast mailed. Every end marks a new beginning. Keep your spirits and determination unshaken, and you shall always walk the glory road. On the road to success, the rule is always to look ahead. With courage, faith and great effort, you shall achieve everything you desire. I wish you a happy new year. Thank you Mr. Beast for your warm wishes. Thank you all for bearing till the end of the video, and we wish this new year brings for you lots of joy, happiness, good health and indeed wealth. Have a rocking year. Thank you and sayonara.